let the light shine through. I know that's not the first time anybody's heard that, but I got a light source. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Let me see if I can, I can do this. Does that work? I, ah, this is going to come out grainy. Ah, there we go. It's a little bit better, yeah? Let me see that a little bit. That probably didn't help. That's a little bit better. All right. So this is a review of Breaking Bad Season 2, Episode 5, titled Breakage. So... Oh, what was that? So I knew... I knew coming into into this episode that um, the brother-in-law's character was definitely struggling with the fact that he had to kill somebody. They don't uh, give you any information as to if this is the first person he's, he's killed or not. But, um, you know, as I said so many times before, you know, I'm going to be... Uh, I'm going to be going to a place of... Uh, I'm going to be giving my opinion based from a place of uh, reality now i have never killed anybody i've come across people who've done that um in real life and in um uh like like interviews or whatever on podcasts so doesn't mean i'm an expert on it but i know that it's not it's not it's not an easy thing to to deal with every individual um this is this is just a this is just a, a time for for this character to shine he does a great job uh he holds up his end of the bargain i should say the writers and the person directing this particular episode or if some different directors for different i don't know i should pay more attention to that but the way this episode is constructed it just you know this is this is another episode that can literally be a movie if they add more fat to it. If they add more fat to the teleplay and turn it into a screenplay, this could be a movie. It's just done so well. But the overview of this episode is the brother-in-law gets a promotion. There's a lot going on, actually. The brother-in-law gets a promotion. He's dealing with that. Uh, the two sisters are working out their, their uh, relationship. Uh, Walt's running around with Pinkman. Pinkman decides to grow some balls uh, and starts a little, uh, starts distributing uh, to, is it one, two, is two, three people. And they start making money that way. Pinkman, of course, finds an apartment. He goes back to the tow yard that he busted out of, strikes a deal to store the vehicle there, which I'm like, see how long that's going to last. Um... Junior doesn't make Junior makes like one appearance in there. Of course, Walt and Mrs. Mrs. White are going at it still. I mean, they're just it's it's obvious to see that both these characters uh, are going through a lot. Oh, I'm just getting tired. Put this back right here. Let me see. Does this this work? Oh wow, that. Let's see if I can. Okay. Well, oh oh yeah. There we go. So put my head like that yeah so the walt and mr white the whites are going through it they're going back and forth i am just i'm i'm not over i'm not over that that whole aspect of this series um i think it's definitely i think it's let me see if i can get a little bit better like that i think it's definitely necessary to I think it's definitely necessary to to show that. Um, I, I, yeah, I, I do. I think it's definitely necessary for that to be for that to be shown. Give me a second. I don't like the way I don't like the way that looks. I need to get a cloth. I keep saying I'm gonna do it, but I never do. I need to get a cloth for this thing. That's a little bit better. It's still, ah, man, it's still coming out a little grainy, man. I gotta figure this out. This is supposed to be a really good camera. Maybe I'm just not doing it right. Maybe I start doing these in the daytime. Because in the daytime, it works really... Let me finish. So, the whites are going through it. They're, they're, they're going back and forth. Um, I'm trying to think what else happens in this episode. Um, just playing more detail. Oh, let me just... Let me follow the... the 
the the brother in law's character <laughs> throughout the whole little little gnat flying around a mosquito tracking to the light. I'm doing this at night, so I'm trying to get him out of my face. But um let me follow him. I really liked his I really liked the I really like the arc of his, of his character through this through this episode. Uh, so it starts out, he's basically on the top of the world, but he's repressing his emotions, of course. What most men are so-called, I shouldn't say that. that's what most men do. They just repress what they're really feeling instead of letting it off their chest. And of course, it's going to build up and it's going to come out in other ways. I've learned that through experience. Now that I can say, I've, I've learned that through experience. But... Um, so he's in the top of the world. He's he's having the the chat with uh, his uh, superior. Uh, hey man, you're promoted. Oh, that's great. Thank you. You know, uh, and some of his uh, coworkers on the same level as him. Hey man, you know, this uh, this go out and have a celebrated uh, celebrated dinner. Fine. Uh, episode continues on. He has a another. He continues the celebration by having family over. Oddly enough, his work, his his coworkers, are his friends at work, and his uh, and his family. So they're over there doing this thing. But but in be, in between that, before he before he has that uh, barbecue with the family to continue the celebration, um, one of it, it showcases a hobby he has, which I think is important. It's everybody needs a hobby to to escape from. Even if you love your job, you, you you on some on some level I feel like you you still you still have settled for the particular job you have, so you need a hobby. The hobby is allows you uh, to blow off steam. It allows it's an outlet for whatever you know. It, it's something to restart or clear your mind basically. So his hobby happens to be making beer. Um, so he takes a day off. He's wearing a festive shirt. He's in the garage in the dark, of course, doing his thing. His wife come home. They have a little talk back and forth. Gets out of there. He's so pent up. He winds up uh, breaking a bottle and you know cutting his hand. So he does that. I think I'm trying to think what happens after that. Then the barbecue comes. They had a barbecue. He's still not 100 percent present. Everybody else seems like they 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 actually seem disinterested in him because um, they the writers for this episode decided to draw detract attention from him and go to the sisters squabble and what they had to be going on trying to I guess divert um, trying to divert. Uh, some of the tension off off the the brother in law, but I was interested in that character from the, from the start of the show because he was doing a, the actors doing a great job of just um, doing a great job of portraying somebody in distress. So uh, I'm trying to think where was I at? Yeah, at the barbecue. So later that. Later that night, I think he winds up um, laying in his bed, um, sleeping. <laughs> um, he's awakened by by his popping sound, which of course very similar to gunshots. He jumps up, of course, and springs into action. His training takes over at that point. I know that's a, like a cop or military thing to say, but it it it, it shows. Got his flashlight and his pistol. And he's running around the house, clearing rooms like he should be. Um, he gets in there. His wife, which I think it's, it, if he would have discharged that firearm and, and hit her, it would have mostly been his fault because at a certain point, if if you're undergoing training for firearms and firearm safety and whatnot, you should be giving similar training to people that are in your house that are going to be around your firearms. Hey, dum dum. Don't come bursting in the door when I'm inside here trying to see if there's any bad people. But all it all it all it was was the bottles that he was 
working on for his beer earlier in the episode, for some reason or another, were were bursting open. I guess they were over pressurized, or they had too much. They had, they had too much of the beer inside the the, the bottles. I'm not a hundred percent, but I think I left out a lot from this episode, um, which is a shame because this is a, one of the better episodes. Um, let's see if I can fit the rest in there. Uh, like I said, the whites are confronted. Well, Mr. White confronts Mrs. White, but at this point. At this point in the series, she's like, I can understand her completely now. It's like, after all the emotional stress he's put her through, she's going to definitely have some type of pushback. I'm, she's pregnant, and at the same time, she's smoking cigarettes. Yes, that's wrong. But it's kind of like, it's kind of like, do you have any, do you have any, uh, do you, do do you have what is it? Do you have a do you have a, a a horse in the game even at this point to question what she's doing after the things you've done that she doesn't even know about? I see where she's coming from, um, which is never thought I'd do say that. Um, let's see what else? Oh yeah, and 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 oh, I should I should put that. So there's one scene when uh, it's like a drug selling montage. They have this really good kind of like uh, what is it called? Uh, what is it? What is the name of that music called? Jesus, it's not rock and roll. It's um, rhythm and blues kind of type stuff. It's like early, early rock and roll, but the music is really um, chaotic. It's like one of the solos, if you will. And it's really chaotic, and it's just going, and they're slaying the drugs. They're going, they're going, they're getting money, they're getting money, they're getting money. And then, ah, damn, I forget, ah, damn, I forgot how it, how it comes to, how it concludes. Yeah. I forgot how it concludes, but it, it it's just a, it's just a great piece of, uh, a great piece of uh, writing and directing. Of course, the actors do their part, too. Cause this is like boom, it hit you out of nowhere. And you just, I'm sitting, I was sitting there like, wow, really good. Now, I, at the end of this episode, it makes me feel like I should binge it. I should binge the whole series, but it's just like the episodes aren't too long, they're like 45 minutes or so, 45 minutes to an hour or something like that. But it's like, I don't know if I, I don't have the time to binge it. I'm really anxious, not anxious, I'm really excited to see the next episode. But until then...